Hey everyone, welcome to Castle Crashers. As you can see, this is not Pokemon Crystal. I got a little bored of it, to be honest with you. It'll still keep coming out and I'll eventually finish it, but for now I figured we'd play something a little different. Um, this is going to be single player, as no so let's get started, shall we? From the world map. Alright, um, I've already played with a few characters. I've played with Mr. Hattie. And I played a bit with the Blue Knight. Uh, I'll probably just do the Blue Knight, because I really like him. The rest of them I'm not that familiar with. I beat this back when I owned a PS3 with the Green Knight. So we're just gonna go with the Blue Knight for now. Why the fudge not? God damn it, mouth screen. Alright, um, I'll just start from the beginning. I see no reason not to. Alright, I got, uh, the bat with me. Basically what it does is randomly latches onto an enemy's head and just bites the ever-living shit out of it. And right now I've got the broccoli sword equipped, which gives me a bonus to defense, attack, and agility if I'm not mistaken. It has been a few days since I played this game, so I might be a bit rusty. We're gonna go and start from the beginning. So the story is apparently this big bad wizard motherfucker takes this giant crack rock and just rides off into the night sky with it. Oh, cool. And I have been practicing with this game. I've gotten somewhat decent. I say as I immediately get hit. Uh, then again, I haven't played in a few days. I need to remember the controls. There we go. That's the ice power. Ah, you cocksucker. Ah, yeah. Back to juggling. Juggling like a champ. I forgot how sickeningly easy that made the game. Just juggle them and they're dead within seconds. That's fucking awesome. But yeah, I played this game way back when uh, when it first came out for the PS3. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun on a bun. Uh, I wasn't very good at it back then. I'm still not super good at it now. But I'm competent enough to at least get some shit done. Ah, damn it. I say as I epically fail. But yeah, I genuinely enjoy this game. It's pretty fun, and it's a Newgrounds game, so anything they really release is usually pretty top-notch. And all the action going off-screen that you just can't see. Ah, you cocksucker. Oh, hey! A chunk of meat. It's not defined what meat, but I'm guessing chicken. Mmm, chicken. That's right. I'm juggling your ass! Like the jesters of old! Oh, suck it! Eat some ice magic, man! This game pumps me up, I can't help it. My bone. Oh, sweet, I have shit tons of potions. Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. Like I said, I'm a lot better at this game than I was when I was about 10. But hey, with skill come... or Apparently it doesn't come... With age comes skill, but not the ability to speak properly. Fuck. I hate it when there's so many enemies on the screen that you can't see who you are. That just annoys the ever-living shit out of me. Oh, come on. I want to juggle you. I want to party with you! Oh, college, I've heard that so many times. Oddly enough, some were actually directed at me. You know that nerdy kind of chubby kid. It's an odd experience to actually have people want to party with you. Usually I'm just that loner kid at the party who sits there and gets absolutely shit-faced and then 
by some miracle becomes the life of the party once you get a bit of alcohol in me. So basically every party I go to is just the friends I have feed me beer. And then I'll get random people coming up to me just because I don't remember them from the night before. And they're like, dude, what's up, man? Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, you want to hang out? Like, Who are you? I don't remember you! So, uh, uh, college is, it's different. Like, uh, when I was in high school, I was picked on a whole lot. Like, I was the fat kid, the nerdy kid. I lived in the Bible Belt, and I wasn't religious, so that was another strike. So, I, I wasn't very well liked. I didn't get my first friend in high school till about junior year. And, uh, college is completely different. Like, first week there, I had people coming up talking to me, actually liking me. I, I honestly wasn't sure what to make of it. You know, so my advice for anyone who's getting bullied is, you know, deal with it the best you can. Like, tell the teachers if you must. Um, just tough it out, man. Because once you get to college, things will change. It won't be anywhere near as bad. Unless you just go to a really shitty college. Um, but even then, I go to a pretty shitty college right near the Bible Belt. And like I said, I am not religious. I'm, uh, I'm not religious in any sense of the word. But I still have people there who like me. I still have friends. I still can laugh and smile and get high. So it's pretty awesome. Um, one warning to those of you who may or may not have lived shelters lives, if you go to, like, a college and you live on campus and shit, and, like, you've never been around drugs or alcohol before, that shit will change. You will be around it a lot, because it's almost everywhere. Eat icicles. Ah, god damn it. We're just gonna spam our heavy attacks, move out of the way when the red ring appears under us, and we will be good. Um, I put a lot of points into magic, as you can probably see by the insane amount my magic is doing. But yeah, like I was saying before, uh, anyone who's having a tough time in high school, it will eventually get better. You'll go to college, and your whole world will change. You'll be in a place that you thought could never have existed before and it's honest to god just magical like i i thought i would never have anything like it in my life and then i got there and it just made me so happy and it really took away a lot of that depression i felt because of high school because it took away a lot of that loneliness so really anyone who's having trouble college will make it better even if you don't go to college, like if you're ever in a workforce, you'll probably find people there too, you know? I work at a mechanic shop right now for the summer, and I'm like the exact person that shouldn't be working in a mechanic shop. I'm fat, I get tired easy, and I have a prone... I get... I'm very prone to injuries. So I, I shouldn't be working there, and yet still everyone's incredibly nice. I talk with everyone, everyone's joking, so... Really, anywhere you'll find bullies, anywhere you'll find people that hate you, but you also have a chance to find, you know, a lifelong friend. And that's something that you should not throw away out of fear. You know, so stick it out and things will get better. That much I can promise I speak from experience. Because I had a pretty shitty life up until college. And even now, you know, it's not the best life ever. But it's certainly not the worst, and college has made it a lot more bearable. And I know it can do the same for any one of you. So if you stick it out, things will get better. Whether or not you go to college, or you find a place you love working at, or you just find your own little vice, if you will find something to make life a bit more bearable for you. That much I can assure you. You know, for me it's YouTube videos and comedy. I may not be good at them, but god damn, I love doing them. So yeah, that's basically just my little spiel on that for all six of you who actually watch these videos. And in the meantime, we're just gonna knock the ever-living shit out of this barbarian until he forgets who he is.
You like that, don't you, bitch? Eat that broccoli! We fucked him up! Right. So, we're just gonna go all wizard on this bitch. Oh, yeah. Juggle time! Really the cheapest tactic in the game. Because not only does it suspend your enemies in the air, it gives you a shit ton of XP. Because if I'm not mistaken, XP in this game is given out for each hit. So, and when you juggle, you're hitting them a lot. So that's quite a bit of XP you're getting. We are already on the stage boss. I'm not really surprised. <laughs> like I said, uh... Back when I first played this game, I actually died a lot in the beginning stages. But that was back when, you know, I was young, dumb, and full of THC. Now I'm young, dumb, and full of THC, but I know how to handle my THC. I actually, I haven't been high in months. Not by choice, mind you. If I had the option, I'd be blazing it. Uh, this guy's pretty, pretty easy boss. You can block all of his attacks except for one. So, when you see the wind-up coming, just block. That's the only one you can't block, and when you see it coming, get the fuck out of the way. Uh, I don't know if you can block that one, but it's not something I'd actually like to try. Oh, hey, there's a pair on the ground. Give me. See? Wind-up. Pretty obvious what he's going to do it. So, you can basically tell when he's about to unleash one of his... Epic. Oh shit! Got hit there. Gotta shake the stick. Get out. Um, if you do own this for Steam like I do, I would recommend using a controller. Because this is a game that was meant for shit like Xbox 360 and PS3. And sadly, the controls do not translate to a mouse and keyboard well. But the good thing about PC gaming is it is awesome for compatibility. Alright, so we're gonna knock open this chest and money just rains from the sky. We want as much of it as possible, because money is a lifeblood for insane mode in this game. Which, depending on how the playthrough goes, I might or might not do some videos on, you know? I really do enjoy this game, so... Maybe. Give me a kiss. Mmm, like that, don't you? Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Alright, that's enough for now. I feel creepy enough as it is. Alright, we're gonna put two in there. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh god, damn it. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, I don't know what happened there, but something. Maybe I accidentally clicked the mouse since it's off screen. Who knows? Alright. I'm gonna go and end this part here, and I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and make today a special day and upload four, since it's been a few days since I've done Crystal, so consider it a treat. Uh, I will see you guys in just one second.